Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Once again, it's on. Consciousness creators, are you with me? Give me some hearts if anybody's here. I see a couple people starting to log on. Let's get this party started. Welcome to the Consciousness Creators Summit. Believe it or not, we are starting week three already. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning where I'm at, so good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be logging in from. This is the Consciousness Creators Summit. My name is Tony Doyle, and I will be uh, here with you for the next few minutes, uh, hopefully to get your vibration up a little bit and uh, talking about some important stuff. Today, we're going to be talking about doing a self-life audit and a little bit more down the rabbit hole of 5D. So the difference between 3D and 5D, which we started um, a couple weeks back and all of our presenters have been touching a little bit on that. So let me get me squared here. Looks like I'm a little out of sorts. So what we're going to do first, if everyone could, hello everybody. Um, if everyone could first share, please, to your own timelines and to those groups which you know um, accept live feeds. I would certainly appreciate that. I'm going to do the same. Um, so everybody share. I'm going to share. And after that, once you've shared, go ahead and let me know where you're tuning in from. Okay, this is the Consciousness Creator Summit. We're going to share for about five minutes here or less and just get some more people on. Looks like we're around 20 right now. Good morning, everybody. What's up, Loot? I see Loot and Ali. I see Carolyn. Just sharing, guys, if you could do that. Jennifer's on. Carol's on. All right. Great. All right. So if we could take a few minutes just to share out to your groups and to your private page or your personal page, I would appreciate that. And then we're going to get started. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. Jefferson City, Missouri's in the house. Whoop, whoop. New Hampshire's in the house. Tapping Girl's in the house. Greetings to Tapping Girl and all of her Tapping Tuesday friends. Thanks for joining in, guys. Um, we are at the Consciousness Creators Summit, and we are going to get started shortly. We are just sharing out here. Looks like we're up to around 25. Thanks for sharing, Ali. Appreciate that. All right, Deja's in Chicago. I'm not too far from you. Chicago's my home away from home. Lived there for about five years, uh, amongst a whole bunch of other places. So thanks for sharing. All right, let everybody know if you guys are personal friends with people in the consciousness creators, um, let them know we are getting ready to go live. Little Rosie Sunshine is in the house. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you. Yes, 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 yes. I hope you guys had a good tapping session this morning. I was not able to join for that, but I will definitely go back and catch the replay on that. I don't know if you guys, like me, have started the tapping, but I'm starting to feel like it's uh, it's really something I want to incorporate. So I want to learn more from Miss Colette, Miss Tapping Girl. So I'm going to start trying to do that. And uh, we were talking about working that into some of the stuff I do with my kids as well. So we're going to, uh, once I'm comfortable with it, then obviously it's a lot easier to share with others as well. So. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to finish sharing here out. We are almost up to 30 people live. Obviously, people can catch the replay if not. Thank you, Luke. Thanks for sharing, Jennifer. Appreciate that. All right. It is 9 a.m. here 
on uh, in Eastern Standard Time in the morning. All right, appreciate that. So we'll we'll go ahead and get started here. Looks like we're going to hover right around 30 for right this second, and people can jump on later on if they would like to. So um, obviously. EST 9 a.m., which means it's hard to pick up in some other time zones, and we understand that. Um, that's the beauty of Facebook Live, right? So, the replay will be available and continues to be available. Once again, welcome to the Consciousness Creators Summit. Some, for some reason, I am not quite on there. It looks like it's cutting me off. Let me see if I can adjust this just a little bit. Okay. Welcome to the Consciousness Creator Summit. My name is Tony Doyle. For those of you who are brand new, um, which we do once again have a lot of brand new people. I, I love it. You guys are continuing to share out. We're getting more and more members as we go. A little project that we hoped to get to 1,000 is now close to, well, we're over 1,500. So now we're close to 1,700, 1,750. Let's, let's make that our next goal. We are starting week three. Um, this is my third live. I went live on the first, um, and uh, this will be week three for us, so it's awesome. Um, hope everybody was able to catch all the Consciousness Creators over the past week. Great lives, every single one. Um, those are obviously all available for you in the replay on the page as well. Feel free to get caught up whenever you can. Um, a, bunch of, a bunch of great stuff over the past seven days. Um, so please do that. Um, I was able to do that a little bit over the weekend. Um, as many of you know, I did have my birthday, so I kind of checked out a little bit there um, from Friday all the way until this morning. <laughs> so, and I do want to uh, send out shout outs to all of you guys. Um, and once again, I want to say that for people who have Facebook feeds that are not positive, that is a problem probably with your own editing because um, my Facebook feed is completely positive. I, I was completely blown away. I had over 3,500 people say hi to me for my birthday, which is ridiculous. Um, so I certainly appreciate it. Um, obviously, you guys were a big part of that. Um, my Consciousness Creators family, Alio's Vibe Tribe. Um, I, I really deeply appreciate that. So, all right, let's just see who, let's check in a little bit. Um, if you're just now joining, please share out. All right. Yeah, Allie had a little issue. For those of you who don't know, you probably do by now. Allie had a little issue with the Facebook police. And her replay right now is only available on YouTube. But thanks to Paul O'Shea, the wonderful technician guru behind the scenes, he was able to rip that to YouTube um, for our enjoyment. So in the meantime, uh, I, that is posted on our page as well. Or you can go to Allie's YouTube page and catch that, as well as all the other Consciousness Creators. Paul does an excellent job of ripping those and even cleaning up some of the audio signals and all that. So go check that out. Um, we certainly appreciate your support. And hopefully um, we're kind of we're kind of learning our way through this Facebook Live. They, uh, they're super protective. Um, with all the Russian bots and whatnot, all the little things going on, they're um, they're super protective about about um, things that seem to spread too fast. Um, and you guys are doing an excellent job. Like I said, almost seventeen hundred people. We're sharing out every day. You guys are sharing two or three times. Someone like Ali and Paul, they share out probably fifteen, twenty places, and sometimes that gets us caught up. Uh, Colette had that issue. I, we've all had that issue. I, I still can't like or heart anything from my last week one, but hopefully that should be restored today and I'll try not, I'll try to like in increments. 
<laughs> I try to uh, comment on your stuff in increments. So it seems like Facebook likes that a little bit better as opposed to, well, my first video, I think last I checked had 888 comments on it. So um, I'm sure they were a little suspicious of that. 888 comments in less than seven days. So anyway, we will deal with Facebook, how Facebook is, okay? So once again, we're just going to restart. I hope everybody had the opportunity to share out. We do want to continue inviting people into our Consciousness Creators family. Remember, that's how we raise the vibration of the planet, one person at a time. So as your vibration is raised, please feel free to invite like-minded friends, those who would appreciate uh, the things that we're doing here. I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. Allie. Hi, Allie. Uh, Carolyn. And, hey, Nanette's in. Okay. Hey, good morning, Joelle. Well, good afternoon, Joelle. <laughs> Where you are. All right. Hi, everybody. All right. We're going to go ahead and get started. And uh, won't be on here too long today, but there's a couple things I wanted to touch base on. As I said in the intro there, welcome to everybody, Consciousness Creator Summit. My name is Tony Doyle. I am what they call a transformational mindset coach, um, which means I predominantly work um, whether with CEOs or individuals or groups or youth uh, all on mindset type of things. So it's changing our minds, changing our paradigms, our belief systems, those type of things. As they say, the BS, the belief systems that we've already uh, been running our lives uh, with. So, hey, welcome to Sam Martin. How are you, Sam? <clears throat> all right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, my name is Tony Doyle, Consciousness Creators, week three for the summit. Um, and I did want to cover, like I said, I, I do thank everyone for my birthday wishes. Um, so I certainly appreciate that. I got a couple other business items I want to talk about at the end. Um, don't forget, Colette's going to be here tomorrow, and I'll try to cover that again. But um, as always, Wednesday here is uh, our time for tapping at 8.30 EST. So feel free to join us again tomorrow, and I'll hit that again at the end if, uh, if I remember that. Um, several big things going on. Manifesting Dreams in 2019. Who's with me? Give me some hearts if you guys are already feeling the vibe. Hopefully we've been doing this two weeks. Let me see some hearts if we've been changing anything for you guys. Remember the whole purpose of this is to change your mindset get you started off to a great 2019 and change some things as opposed to maybe what happened in 2018, 2017, 2016. You know what I mean? Um, great. Seeing some hearts. So great. I'm, I'm glad we're having a positive effect. We are certainly trying our best to do that. All the presenters. Um, I would, I would like to give a huge round of applause as we would say, or in the, uh, in the kid realm, in the Cub Scout realm, or the uh, elementary, we would give a round of applause like this. To all the presenters, um, I think it's really awesome how everyone's coming from a different facet, but yet everything merges together so good. So I hope you guys are feeling that as well. And I just want to shout out all the consciousness creators, some of which are on now, and some of which will be jumping on the replay due to time zone issues and whatnot. And it's Tuesday, so middle of the day, some places can't get away from certain things you're doing. So either way. So once again, I am going to talk a little bit about two things. One, we're going to talk about giving ourselves a self-life audit, okay, um, which is what New Year's resolutions goals, intentions, those type of things that we've been talking about for two weeks. That's really what it's all about. But we can do this anytime. We don't have to wait to the new year. You don't even have to wait to the new moon. You can do it on Monday. You can do it on Wednesday. You can do it right here on the Consciousness Creators Summit Tuesday, January 15th. If you're not exactly where you want to be, put in some changes right now today 
And let's see next week when I come on, let's see what positive things you were able to do this week, okay? So we're going to talk about um, five keys to doing a self-life audit, okay? Then we're going to dive just a little bit deeper down the 3D to 5D rabbit hole, okay? Just a little bit. So don't want to scare you guys off. It's um, uh, it, it really goes in with everything that we've been talking about. So I certainly don't want to um, scare you off. We're not going to go crazy. It does merge together brilliantly. Just reading a couple of these. Diane's, Diane Williamson's in the house. Great. Lots of changes. Little rosy sunshine. Onwards and upwards. Thank you. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Onwards and upwards, right? And remember, we're not reaching all the way out for love, right? We're reaching for the next best feeling. Okay? So if if when you logged on, you have a lot of problems that's mirroring out in your existence, okay? If that was the your January 1st, let's just try to get you up to the next thing. We want to get you to satisfaction, if you remember our talk uh about satisfaction in Abraham, okay? Let's get you up to the next thing. Certainly appreciate all your great comments there as well. Um, I'll go back and, uh, and get some of those here in a second. Let's get into this. Um, I don't want to keep you guys too long today. I've been running almost double time of what I should. I just have so much great information uh, to get out to you guys, but I don't want to uh, tie you up too long here. So let me just get a drink. A little self-branding, my company. <laughs> That's my health and wellness company, by the way. All right. So let's talk about uh, a self-audit, okay? So we're going we're gonna to break this down into five things. So those of you who are taking notes or mental notes or whatever, we're going to talk about five things. Hey, Vivian's in. Welcome to Vivian. She had an awesome live last night. I'm loving all these different meditations and things that we're doing. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. All right, we're just getting started. We're talking about the five keys to doing a self-audit, um, a self-life audit. So number one is life audit, okay? And we'll go back and pick up what that means. But if you're taking notes, put a big number one next to life audit, and once again, this is ways that we can go through and make changes every day. It doesn't have to be New Year's. doesn't have to be the beginning of the month. doesn't have to be New Moon. doesn't have to be anything. You create your life, okay? So you get to make these changes when you want to. Number one is life audit, okay? Everybody write that down. Put some ones in the comment if you've got life audit written down or in your mental life audit, number one. Let me see some comments, guys. Okay, life audit. Good morning. We are just getting started talking about the five keys to doing a self-life audit. Uh, and the first thing that we do want to talk about is life audit. Thank you for responding. Number two, we're going to talk about a life edit. Number one is life audit. Number two is life edit. Okay. Number three, we're going to talk about a life debit. Okay? Audit, edit, debit. That's our first three. Number four, we're going to talk about a life credit. Okay? And finally, and couldn't, couldn't go on without this, but absolutely, uh, probably, most importantly of all, we're going to talk about a life accredit. A credit. Okay? So we've got a life audit, a life edit, a life debit, a life credit, and a life accredit. Okay? So that's our five things, uh, keys that we're going to cover this morning briefly. Okay? Once again, this is ways that we can take control of changing things in our own in our own self okay 
whether it be a New Year's resolution, whether it be a monthly intention, whether it be a goal, whether it's financial, whatever, whatever that might be. Exactly. So we're talking life audit, life edit, life debit, life credit, and life a credit. And we're going to talk about the difference between those and how we get there. Okay. So first and foremost, let's just talk about the generalities of a life audit. I feel like I keep cutting my head off here. and that's. <laughs> I don't think I have my camera very squared up. So let me see if I can just do that. I keep coming up into it and look like I can, you guys are just seeing my nose. So, all right. Apologize about that. All right. So let's talk about a life audit. A life audit is literally determining where to focus. Okay. So it's a higher view of what we're doing currently and audit. So if you think about taxes, which may be the other place where you've heard the term audit, okay, what is that? That's an overall view of the whole picture, okay? So it's a 360-degree view, um, and we're going to make sure we are covering everything, um, good, bad, ugly, and getting an actual picture of that, okay? So that's your life audit. So we sit down, you can do that in journal, you can do that in bullet points, um, you can do that however works for you, but let me tell you, let me give you some, um, some basics. We talked about the, the pillars on the first, um, my first broadcast. Let me talk about similar things, but once again, since we're doing a life audit, we're talking about here, um, so let's talk about exactly what areas we want to audit, okay? So we can talk super big picture and really maybe never get anything done because we'll say, yeah, I'd like to make some changes. Okay, how many changes are going to get made if you keep it that general? Give me some hearts if you think that's too general. Is that too general? Yeah, I'd like to make some changes. And then we move on. Any changes going to get made like that? Probably not. Right? Right. Exactly. So no changes. We need to get a little bit more specific. So let's talk about the areas we're going to audit. Specifically, we are going to look at our life in terms of health, family, friends, work and or finances depending on your job situation and how you make your money okay living in a 3d world obviously we have a need to to audit that area and then of course overall spiritual as well okay so health family friends uh your worker finances and your spiritual life so we want to do a 360 degree audit of all of those areas okay and just see where we stand there's no right or wrong answer. What we're doing right here is really getting a picture of where we're at. Okay? So can everybody do that? Like I said, you can do that in journal form. You can do it in bullet points. Me personally, I like to do lists or bullet points. So I'll have a column for health. I'll have a column for family. I'll have a column for friends. I'll have a column for finances uh, slash work, whatever works for you. And then a spiritual one. And we're going to really grade ourselves in each of those categories, on a scale of 1 to 10, exactly, thank you, Ali, for typing that. So on a scale of 1 to 10, those of you who are writing down, please go ahead and start this exercise. That would be great practice. And uh, rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, and let's just see where everybody's at right now. Okay? We're two weeks into... Uh, um, to 2019. So let's see where everybody's at on health, family, friends, work, money, and spirituality. And I'm I'm not going to ask you. You don't have to share that. That's a personal personal thing. But please do this exercise. We'll take just a couple of minutes and let you do those. Try to grade yourselves on all five, and then we're going to go through and we're going to talk about the other steps and how we can start addressing and adjusting. Okay. So go ahead and. Uh, Go ahead and grade yourself. Scale of 1 to 10. 1 being not very good and 10 being great. I'm doing awesome at this. Okay? 
So make sure you're giving yourself credit for the good stuff, but also writing down a realistic picture. If it's negative and you, you want to see some improvement, put that down. That should be below a five in that case, okay? If you're doing pretty good, six, seven. If you're doing really good, eight, nine. Me personally, I don't think every, anyone's ever at a 10. I think we always have room for improvement and it's great to think like that, okay? Um, but an eight is highly satisfied life. So if you had an eight across the board, you would be highly happy all the time. Nothing would get you down, okay? No, your health is great. Um, your family and friends, there's no negativity in those, in those areas. You're making the kind of money you like, maybe not as much, and you could do a little bit better, but it's enough to get by. You're not struggling in your finances, and your spiritual life is pretty good. So that would be eights, okay, in my opinion. Maybe even jumping up to a nine if you your family life is really, really, really good. You know what I mean? We just got through Christmas and New Year's. Some people had really, really good family lives, and some people it was a big highlight of some some issues that may be going on. Okay, I know the kids that I work with, um, the holidays are the absolute worst time for them, okay, because it's obviously an underscore of what the deficit is in their life, all right? Always room for growth, for growth. thanks Luke, perfect. All right, so once again, so we, hopefully you had a chance to rate yourself, health, family, friends, work and finance, and spiritual, all right? I'll let you keep that to yourself. Um, if you want to share, you are always welcome to, uh, but don't feel like you have to. That's an internal thing. Um, remember, you are you are your creator. You are your own person, and only you know for real what you're feeling, the emotions and the feelings you have inside of you based on each of those. Okay, and if you listen long enough when you ask that question, you will get answers as to where changes may need to be made. Okay, so hopefully you were able to do that. If you're on the replay, please, I invite you to do this exercise. It will be great practice for you. Um, and once again, you can do this anytime. This is not for next year's New Year's resolutions. It's not for February 1st. It's not for the new moon or the full moon. This is for whatever day you feel like a change needs made. I want to empower you to be able to do that. And these are the tools to do that, okay? So that's the life audit. So we've gone through, we've done it on a scale of 1 to 10 in, uh, in those areas. So now, once we've done that, we're going to go and we are going to do a life edit. Part 2, okay? Life edit. So this is... Breaking it down just a little bit further in each of those categories, okay, and and kind of seeing what could be different, all right? So we're not making any steps yet. We're making plans to make steps. As Abraham would say, we're getting ready to get ready, all right? Segment intending. If you guys have a chance to check out some Abraham Hicks, look look up some parts that they call segment intending, Beautiful. Uh, Sheb's covered it a little bit. Uh, Allie covered segment intending as well on a couple of lives. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We're really planning small steps to possibilities. Okay. So if we recognize that we are at a five or below in any of those categories, let's focus in on those and let's start dreaming a little bit, visualizing how that could be better. What would we like to see? If our friends are negative, if we log on to Facebook and all it is is baby mama drama and deadbeat dads and, and, and politics and the world and this, if that's all you're seeing in the morning, that's going to be an issue, okay? So that might be something you want to address, okay? Facebook friends are friends. For lots of us, Facebook friends may be some of the best friends you have. Give me some hearts if some of your best friends are on Facebook or social media or spread across the world and social media helps you connect at least. Give me some hearts if that's the case. Right. Good. Same here. Exactly. 
Exactly. So it's great to have it's great to have some physical friends right here in your same space that you can go eat with, those type of things. We don't all have that. And that's okay. We can get a connection in different ways as long as you're controlling your friend lists. Okay? But if your friend if your friend list on social media is 90% negative, even if you feel like you like to see the drama, realize that that's getting fed into your brain. Okay? All of our presenters have covered that. Remember, you are the five people that are closest to you, whether that's Facebook people, family, business associations, uh, associates, whoever the five people that are closest to you spend the most time with, you are being influenced by, period. Okay? So you may need to do something. So like I said, we are in the edit stage, stage two of our life audit. And this is just dreaming for possibilities in each of those areas where we may have got uh, five even a six, and we want to do better, okay? So we're dreaming possibilities here. All right, everybody good with that? All right, so once we do that, we're going to get into three and four, which is the life debit and the life credit. All right, debit and credit. So obviously we know, we know the difference between debit and credit. Um, if we just look at finances, we most of us deal with those types of things all the time. So debit is going to be something that we take away from our daily paradigm. And a credit is going to be something we add to. Okay, so here's just a little a side note for me personally. And I think this will work the same for you. But in my journey, this is how I do it. Okay, this is how I coach clients as well. While there's some things that may be majorly toxic that you can identify right now that need debited off immediately, okay? So say health, you know for sure you're still smoking after all this time. You know that it's affecting negatively, okay? It affects your vibrations. It affects your, your physical health, all of that stuff. You know that has to, to, to um, be edited. Get rid of it. That's a debit right there, okay? But... For the most part, here's what I have found. And I appreciate all your comments there. I'll go back. Um, you guys are talking about uh, Facebook and the news and all that stuff. Exactly. We can, we can control that. I, I told you guys before on a previous live, Facebook is actually based on the law of attraction. Okay? Consciously was created like attracts like. So you completely control that. So feel free to do that. Okay? Use your controls. You know, um, same thing with TV. If you guys are watching a bunch of crap on TV and then wondering why you have bad dreams, you wake up in a bad mood. Um, it takes forever to get you back to back to float, or back to you know, halfway. Maybe you should watch what you're watching. You know, um, Chef just did a great live not too long ago. You know what I mean? Notice what you're noticing. Okay, if it's bad, then. Take control. You're a creator. You know what I mean? You create your life. All right? So what I was getting back to, so three and four is debit and credit. And for my life, unless it's super toxic and it's something I know right away I want to get rid of, I find that doing the credit is much more empowering. What do I mean by that? So here's what happens, and this is what I coach all my clients, whether they're CEOs or whether they're, you know, troubled use. Literally, by paying attention to positive things, you will push away negative. Okay? Energy attracts energy. We believe in the law of attraction. Okay? We know that's how the universe is set up. So, by literally adding positive things where negative used to be, okay? So, say you used to, first thing you had to do in the morning is drink two cups of coffee and smoke a cigarette. That's a pattern, okay? Your body may be getting some things out of that, but what you're really doing is, by your reticular activating system and Hebb's Law, you have connected that to waking up, because you need that, okay? So that, that's something that you can replace that habit. You can consciously replace that habit when you wake up with appreciation, with meditation, with deep breathing, 
um, with tapping, with all manner of things, okay? And that's the whole point of this is to try to give you guys some tools. And we've been we've been going now for two weeks here, so hopefully you're trying to get some tools um, to edit some of these things, okay? And that's just health that we're talking about. Same thing with family or friends where we were just talking about Facebook. Maybe it's a worker, you know? Maybe it's somebody you work with at at work, and that's hard, you know what I mean? Like, we're paid to interact and cooperate with people, but there's obviously certain things that we can do. Do we participate in the discolored jokes and just laugh along to try to get along, or we just do we purposely distance ourselves from those things, okay? You can get along with people and, and on, a work, on a work level and not be so personal friendly like that, okay? You can protect your peace, as my friend would say, Trent Sheldon. Protect your peace. Know your worth. All right? So that's a strategy. But I, I like the credit a lot better. And to me, it's natural. So if you replace those, those things um, with positives, as Ali put there, positive attracts more positive. And it will. Your momentum will start to change. Okay. Now, obviously, there is a place for the debit. Like I said, outright, if you know, if someone's stealing your money, if if your bank account's going down, you need to get that in check. Okay. So you're gonna have to get rid of somebody and then add somebody else. Okay. Um, if you know, if your spiritual life, if uh, if that's horrible, and you, if you, whether you go to church or not. Whatever those type of things that work for you, if that's not working for you, make a change, okay? There are plenty of things out there. Uh, my personal opinion is whatever makes you a better person, a human being, okay, is good for you, all right? All right, let's just get some, some comments here. Protect your peace, Joel says. And Ali is reminded she did a she did a positivity live or a live on positivity on her personal page. Beautiful on Sunday. So you guys can go back and check that. That is open to the public on that page. <clears throat> yeah, so focusing on the wanted. So once again, so that's the difference between doing a life debit and a life credit. Okay. Once again, I like the credits more so. I focus on the positive all the time, but my vibration stays super high. I've already gone to the point of, of doing all of those other things. So I stay around a seven, eight all the time in pretty much all of those categories. Okay. Um, I have the tools to do that. If you find yourself dipping down and you know, the bad thing is one influence can do that for you and you guys know it. Okay. Negative momentum works fast, but the good thing is positive momentum does too once you decide to go ahead and make that change, all right? So once again, we're talking about the five keys to doing a self-audit and kind of making a change midstream, um, changing those paradigms, changing those belief systems, the BS, we call it, at Mind Valley. Uh, Vision always talks about the BS your belief systems. Um, so changing those for the better, and we can do that anytime. We've already talked about doing your actual 360 life audit in the categories of health, family, friends, work, finances, and spiritual life. We talk about doing an edit, um, which is really just the process of visualizing what could be better. How, how could we make a change? If we made a change in this way, how would that affect our life down the road? Because um, once again, we want to give ourselves positive momentum. Abraham Hicks calls that getting ready to get ready. Segment intending. We're going to intend to make these changes and change our life for the positive. And then we're going to do that through life debit and life credit. Okay. So that's how we're going to address it. And once, once and finally, and uh, like I said, this is something that I actually do top of the list before anything is what we call a life A credit. Okay, a credit. So when we accredit something, we are talking about appreciation for what's good. We're talking about gratitude for the ability, for the health we have, 
for the mental clarity, for the spiritual focus we have, those type of things. There's always something we can be grateful for that we've overcome. There's always things that we can appreciate that are completely outside of us um, to help us get that. So we are going to accredit those positive things in our life. We are going to be grateful for the ability to make a change and for the awareness that we have now the, to be conscious creators, uh, to be deliberate creators and make that change. So any questions you guys have here? So this is the five keys. And I do invite you to, if you weren't able to do, um, do the activity here this morning, please go back and uh, view the replay and take stock of where you're at right now and see where you might want to change. Okay, you can do this all the time. It's, it's a constant tweak process, okay? It's not something we should be doing at the beginning of the year and then, you know, it goes by the wayside. We stop working out or whatever. Our, the, the big diet plan we had, the detox goes away and we just forget about it for a whole nother year. You know what I mean? You've, you've got 365 days. Let's use them, okay? Let's use them. All right. So hopefully that makes some sense as far as that goes. A couple other things I wanted to, um, to cover here. Let me just check here. Um, so just in tying this into some of the other stuff that we talked about, <clears throat> um, our perceived truths dictate how we see the world and what we see as true. Okay. That's research. Science states that our own personal perceived truth. So it's how we perceive things. So realize, once again, let's just, let's just go back all the way to day one. Thoughts become things, right? How do we do that? If we think a thought long enough, we'll have a feeling towards it, good or bad. All right? Those feelings will, will merge with our heart. And we will produce emotions, energy in motion, okay? And that happens good or bad. You know, sometimes people think of it on the positive aspect and changing their lives for the good, but it also happens negatively, okay? We have ugly emotions, hate, we have intolerance, all kinds of things raise this ugly head. And when we get feelings and we send out emotions like that, like attracts like, and that momentum can start building just like everything else. Okay, so like I said, it has been proven. We covered a little bit about the particular activating system, about how our mind makes things true. Um, our subconscious mind, which they call the prover mind, um, that is where we want to get because if we can program that um, where it's working in our benefit, we don't have to think so much, okay? So think, think about it. If you had to think every time you wanted to breathe, every time you wanted to blink your eyes, if you had to use your conscious thought to do that, would that be a good thing? Not at all, okay? So we're built, we're built exactly right. It's just a matter of having the awareness as to how we can use that to our advantage, okay? Ego is not a bad thing. Okay, a lot of people think ego is horrible and we want to completely eliminate it. Guess what ego does? Ego protects us, okay? Ego helps us in day-to-day -day decisions. But what ego also does, it will overprotect us. And when we want to make a change, and it's not in our comfort system, okay? It's not producing the right chemicals in the body that we're used to, like smoking in the morning or getting a cup of coffee or doing any type of thing that's in our comfort zone, it produces a chemical cocktail, okay? Our body gets used to that and it craves that. When we, when we start to change and we don't get that anymore, our ego, our egoic mind tells us that, hey, we're doing something wrong here. We need, to, we need to see what's going on. I don't like this, all right? But we can change that, all right? We can change that. So we're talking a little bit more about this uh, this field of science it's called metaphysics all right which is this big picture science okay you guys probably had physics in school um, metaphysics is all inclusive so it includes sciences and things that we may not have a hundred percent completely figured out so there's a lot of theories in metaphysics there's a lot of rules as opposed to laws 
Um, those type of things. All right, so let's just tie this together, and this will be our last exercise for today. I'm going to get you guys going real quick, um, get you off on your day. But let's do this, if you guys would. We've been working on a certain mantra uh, or affirmation, and I played a, a little version for you last time, and the first time we introduced it. So we are just going to do it. If we could do it together, it will help us get into this next little phase. So... If we could just take a deep breath and we're going to do grateful for the knowledge of the God within, divine abundance flows to me easily. Okay? Once again, we'll do it four times. Feel free to join along. I'm grateful for the knowledge of the God within, divine abundance, it flows to me easily. I'm grateful for the knowledge of the God within, divine abundance, it flows to me easily. I'm grateful for the knowledge of the God within, divine abundance, it flows to me easily. I said I'm grateful for the knowledge of the God within, divine abundance, it flows to me easy. Okay. Awesome. So if you felt that shift, hopefully you felt a shift there, and it's because what we're bringing up, and if you see, when I close my eyes, I'm actually visualizing all those pieces, okay? It's the knowledge, the God within, divine abundance, talking about your birthright, flows to me easily, all right? We've been talking about that. We'll talk about it again next week, okay? I want to tie this, I want to use this to tie all four of, of my lives in here. Um, but this is going to get us thinking about metaphysic, uh, metaphysics and the God within, okay? So once again, let's just talk a little bit about the difference between what they call 3D, third dimension, 4D, and 5D. Okay, just a little bit down the rabbit hole. Don't get scared. It's all good, okay? Um, it's, just, it's just a perception shift, and I think you guys are the perfect audience to get this, Okay? So we were talking a lot about our 3D self this morning, right? So all of, think about it. All of those things, save spiritual, that we audited, is all about our 3D self. It's about our life on this earth and getting by day to day. Okay, so that's using our, our egoic mind and making some edits and some audits, right? Um, let's take that a bit further and get out to the 5D, okay? So once again, remember, 3D... Um, 3D is talking about this earthly existence and it exists um, you've got up and down you've got back and forth and you've got what else in and out right right 4D you add time okay so if we add time to that so when we talk about a 3D reality, we're talking literally about just living on this earth, things we can see, hear, taste, touch, feel. That's our 3D, 3D reality, okay? That's how, that's how our conscious mind works. That's how we prove something is real. If we can feel it, if we can taste it, we touch it, we smell it, this is real, okay? This is water, this is a bottle, okay? Physics tells us that that is not even a solid and that everything is energy, okay? So that water we're drinking is energy just like that bottle that we're drinking out of is energy just like our physical bodies is energy, all right? That's the 5D, okay? So that's a, that's a bigger way to perceive life, okay? 4D, once again, um, I was telling you is how time collapses, Okay, um, that's kind of a hard concept for most people to get. Um, but the reality is we create time in the existence of time. And we talked a little bit about it last time or on my last live um, based on either living in the past using our memory or living in the future. Okay. Neither one of which exists. We only have the here and now, okay? So a 4D mind, the 3D, 4D, you'll see a lot on spiritual sites. 4D is collapsing that timeline and realizing we only have the now, okay? Now, realize all these things go on at once is not a right or wrong, okay? We do live in a 3D space. We also have time on this earth because it helps us. That's great when it, when it helps us. 
when it doesn't serve is when you want to adjust things, right? All right, so from a 5D perspective, we're going to talk about inner and outer, that big picture. And uh, the, the quote, obviously, we are a spiritual energy and we're having a human experience, right? Okay, so not the opposite way, not the opposite, which is what most purely 3D people who have any inkling towards spirituality, most organized religions teach. We're born on this earth and we go to church for our spiritual fix. Okay, we know as 5D creatures, it's just the opposite. Okay, uh, and deep down, everyone does know that. And they will eventually awaken to that. So it, it's all good. Wherever wherever people are is where they are. I think you guys um, are able to understand a little bit more. So I'm going to go a little bit more into 5D. And we have a, a pretty cool experiment um, that I like. And it's talking about the process of being. We are a human being because we are being human currently. Okay. Um, obviously, and we've had awesome things for two weeks, um, talking about when we can get our spiritual downloads, and and Vivian has done so many things, connecting with the angels and our spirit guides, and so many different things, okay? Um, realize all these things are a combination of getting us from the 3D to the 5D, okay? So each of the meditations are a little bit different. Some of them focus purely on 3D. Okay, quieting our mind and just letting us process things. That's a 3D perspective. 4D, okay, R realizing there's only here and now, bring ourselves back to the breath, okay. We've done a lot of, a lot of great um, things like that. But like a body scan is 3D, right? It's talking about our physical body. Beautiful thing because guess what we have to do? Live in a physical body, <laughs> okay. So that's great. And, but then when we go on to Jason, and, and he does meditations on the here and now, focusing on your breath, and other people, you know what I mean? So that's more of a 4D thing, right? We're collapsing the timelines. Here and now, there is no past, there is no future, there is only a bunch of present moments. Okay, that's 4D perspective. 5D perspective, Vivian has been amazing at giving us that 5D perspective, Right, we've been doing a lot of meditations where we um, where we get with our spirit guides, um, angels, like just thinking outside of our own body. Okay, that's five D perspective. So I'm going to talk a little bit about being, and I have a little exercise for us, and then I've got some closing things here, and then I'm going to let you go. So, all right, is everybody with me? Give me some hearts if you're still with me. By the way, give me some hearts if this is making sense. We're going to do one last exercise to prove to you guys or maybe to um, give, you, give you some confirmation of your 5D self. Okay? Does that sound interesting? All right. I love this exercise. So I hope, I hope you guys do as well. So here's how this is going to go. I am going to put up a card here in a second, and it's got three words on it. Okay, and when I say go, you're going to say those three words to yourself. Okay, you're not going to say them out loud. You're just going to say them to yourself. And then I've got a series of questions to ask you uh, to kind of get your mind thinking a little bit. All right, your 5D mind. <laughs> all right, you guys ready? So once again, I'm going to put this up all together at the same time. We're going to say these words to ourselves, and then I am going to um, ask a couple questions. You guys ready? Give me some thumbs up, some hearts if you're ready for our final little uh, experiment here. A little confirmation of your 5D self being a human, okay? We are a human being at this point. Okay? All right, here we go. So if you guys are ready, we're going to do this. So once again, I'm going to put the card up. You're going to say this just inside yourself. You're not going to say it out loud. You're literally just going to say it to yourself. So here we go. Ready? Let me get it a little zoomed up. Say it one more time to yourself.
Okay. So hopefully all you guys are participating in that. If you are joining in on the replay, please do this exercise as well. Okay. I want to give you guys confirmation that you are a 5D spiritual being having a human existence and not the opposite of that. Okay, so we just said this to ourselves. Everyone did that? If you haven't, do that now. Okay. Now here's the question to ask, okay? What voice just said that? What voice spoke that? Was it our 3D human voice? Couldn't have been, right? Did, did our lips move? Did our voice box work? Okay, so we didn't, we didn't use any of the vibrations. Remember, sight, touch, speak, none of that, right? Okay, so we didn't use any. So what voice said that? Here's a better question. Here's another question. Listen to this. What or who heard you say that? Okay, you said that inside your mind. You heard your voice. You heard it in your own voice, your human voice, but yet it didn't come out your mouth and it didn't go in your ears because it never became sound vibration. Not in the sense that we would think of on this 3D planet. Am I right? Give me some hearts if that's true. Okay, so we said this. Some kind of voice said it. A different ear heard it. Not this ear. Okay. So is that making sense? So obviously we are something more than just his physical body. Am I right? Let's do a let's do a final thing. Okay. All right, everybody close your eyes. Okay. Take one one last sorry, take one last glance at this phrase. Okay? Everybody everybody fixate on this for just three seconds. Say it over in your mind like three times. And look at it. Okay. First of all, your vibration should be raising just from the mere words. Because that is an I am affirmation. Secondly, we're going to do this exercise. Okay. Everybody's read it. Close your eyes. I want you to picture that sign that I just held up. I'm not even going to say the words. I know you know them. Picture it just like it was. What eyes are seeing that? Okay, what's that sight? We have a sight outside of our 3D eyes, okay? We've got hearing outside of our 3D hearing. Right? We can speak outside of our 3D speaking. We are 5D creatures. I just want to affirm that to you. You are a higher being, okay? You can make these changes in your physical life here because you are in complete control. You are the creator, all right? So don't be a reactor to what's going on around you. Be the creator. You can do that. We're giving you all the tools for that. So hopefully that makes sense. I hope you guys like that exercise. That's one that always touches me. Um, we are going to end with just another I am affirmation, my favorite. Um, a lot of you guys know this. Thank you for the hearts. I hope that touched you guys too. Um, so my favorite I am affirmation, You, if you're on my private page, you guys know. I post it all the time. And it's literally dealing with the 3D, which we are in. So I always say, and this ties it back into our life audit, I am healthy I am wealthy, I am wise. Okay, and we're going to add, I am love. Okay, feel free to add your own I ams. Remember, I am affirmations, mantras, always need to be in the present tense, and they always need to be positive, okay? That's our way that we get into our subconscious, and when you repeat them a lot, you start believing it. And once belief turns into knowledge, you become that. Okay? You become it. All right? So I challenge you to be with that. So I hope everything made sense today. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, let me just go through some business stuff. 
once again, I do appreciate you guys for all the birthday wishes. Blew me out of the water. I've never ever in my life had so many people reach out to me for my birthday. Once again, confirmation that uh, social media can be a positive force if you direct it to be that. Okay? Do so. Um, I also announced... Um, and, and actually, those who are on Ali's Vibe Tribe may have gotten a, a little hint of this before from a previous, um, uh, a previous interview. But I do have a podcast coming out. Um, we just got all the stuff going on. Um, we got funding and we got a production schedule getting, getting uh, firmed up in the next uh, 20 to 30 days. It's going to be called Aspire to Inspire, and you guys will hear all about that coming up. Um, so I hope if that's something, if my lives are something that interests you and you want to check out further, like I said, I will have a podcast coming up, Aspire to Inspire. And I posted that on our Consciousness Creator page, first of all, to let you guys know. Um, so feel free to pass the word. Um, also, I've got lots of live things. I'd love to meet up with you guys. Um, I obviously do most of my things in the States, but I do travel around uh, the world uh, with both Mind Valley and Hay House. Um, we have Mind Valley Reunion coming up in LA. Um, I've got Hay House Live going on in Portland. Uh, if you guys are in the States, I would love to meet you up for any of those um, coming up in next, uh, well, February, March. Um, Obviously, uh, the lovely Ali O'Shea and the lovely Paul O'Shea, uh, a.k.a. Marilyn Monroe, private joke. Uh, they are planning on coming to the States, and you'll probably see more about those type of things. When they get to Vegas, um, we are going to have, um, we're going to have some activities that those of you who are in the States, in and around Vegas, or are willing to travel to Vegas, could participate with us. So... Lots more coming on that. Um, obviously, Allie's got her um, her retreat with Viv. Um, Allie and Viv have an awesome retreat all planned in full, and a lot of you guys are in on that, so that's awesome. Um, what else? Let's see. So I'm also planning on going to London this year, later in the year. Um, we will be in Portugal for Hay House. Uh, no, Portugal is Mind Valley. Sorry, everything gets gets mixed in. So Mind Valley A Fest is in Portugal. Um, so we'll be there coming up pretty soon. So anyway, lots of times I would love to meet you guys live. Um, if not, feel free to inbox me. Um, obviously, I have um, coaching, all that stuff. I also want to do a little sneak peek announcement. I know Luke was on here earlier. I don't know if he's still here with us or not, but I do want to let you know that the amazing Luke, Brian Smith, and I are in the studio together as we speak, working on some tracks um, for forthcoming projects as well. So look out for that. Um, we got programs going on. Uh, I know Allie and I are, are finishing up uh, a big, huge program as a follow-up to our Law of Attraction series. Um, I'm working on some stuff with Jay Ducey, some stuff uh, with Jay Shetty, uh, Trent Sheldon, um, all kind of stuff. Uh, you are creators. I'll be working with them again towards the end of the year with Justin Perry and those guys. Um, so anyway, I will let you know about all of those things. I would love to meet you guys live. I'm hoping to get to Ireland. We'll see if I can do it in 2019, if not 2020 for sure. So I know a lot of you guys in Ireland. Um, I stopped through Australia last trip I made, um, but I was not able to connect with you guys, so hope, hopefully we'll be able to do that with the Australian crowd as well, Wales and all of that, I love that area, I would love to spend some time out there, especially when it's nice and warm, and it's cold here in the East Coast, or the Midwest, so, all right, so that's basically all I have, I hope that made sense for all of you guys, and uh, I hope you have a great Tuesday, don't forget, tomorrow, Colette Tapping Girl, as always, 8.30 EST, right here in the Consciousness Creator Summit. Okay? If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and comment on this live. Continue sharing it out. If you're joining in on the replay, like, ask questions, share out. Okay? All of those things. And uh, other than that, I wish you guys a great day, the rest of your day, and the great rest of your week.
Peace.